Give me a moment here. Okay, properly. Hello, all. Uh, and welcome back to High Priest Reacts to Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I've also decided to just bundle the next, uh, what reaction I was going to do next week. And this one, you guys won't be seeing it all in one video because they don't fit together. But expect the rapid fire of both uh, this and the intro to the world of darkness done by Brother Alpha Vesa. Uh, right. Let's start, get started. This is a very interesting and weird game. Welcome to the Flower Kingdom. That's a so distant land just beyond. Ah, it's the Flower Kingdom. Just Mario that's the other land. Just beyond the Mushroom Kingdom. The benevolent Prince Florian. But Bowser, the king of the Koopas, had other. Well, of course it is. With just a single touch of the mysterious Wonder Flower. Alright, that's unique. Holy shit. Alright, that is definitely something. That is probably the most unique uh, gimmick effect yet we've had in this series. The dude literally merging with the enemy's castle to become a ca literal castle Bowser. And I like the quirk, little quirk that I have on the, top, the castle on top. It's up to Mario and friends to stop Bowser and save the Flower Kingdom. But seriously, uh, everything about this is an incredibly neat and creative idea. And I, I see they got the uh, Yoshi's and the one thief dude back. We'll go over what's new in Mario's latest 2D side-scrolling uh, adventure, the Super Mario Brothers Wonder. And the hell are those things? I love how just not normal Mario this is. It really is. They heard all the complaints people had for how how samey the games have been getting, and just went, "All right, fine. You want weird? We'll give you fucking weird." Your adventure begins among the tubular hills of Pipe Rock Plateau. The fuck was that? Once you get past the freezing foot of the mountain, you'll be aiming for new heights in Fluff. Oh, oh, that's a neat way to display, uh, Many you know, how temporary, uh, picturesque scenery and radiant cascades platforms. And shining falls. The fuck is... Multiple islands. I, I have a feeling this entire thing is going to have me going, what the fuck, a lot. To the heart of the Flower Kingdom, the Petal Isle. There's also an arid desert with white sand as far as the eye can see. An uncanny forest lined with giant mushrooms. A scorching hot world full of molten magma and more. A rich variety of I am loving this the, all the various weird shit you're saying here amongst enemies. To select a course. You can even walk freely through open areas you find. Oh, that's neat. Spaces. If you're not quite ready to take on a particular course, you can try uh, a different oops. one instead. Play them and add the uh, like. Once you've played a course, you can quickly <laughs> the uh, internet drop out for a moment there for the people staying in the stream. The ones you want to play again. While in courses, you might notice some talking flowers. Get close and onward and upward. You get up here. What a pretty sunset. <clears throat> so the talking flowers are a thing. I wonder what Goombas taste like. They might give you hints. <clears throat> get over there. Oh sweet, they can even fade thin right. That's a nice little detail. Besides Mario, you can Oh my fucking god. So many characters. Daisy. Peach. Peach. Yoshi's, and even the Nava dude. And Toadette. Oh yeah, and Toadette, yeah. They all play the same, so go with your favorite, or mix it up. Oh, they all play the same? The Yoshi's and Nabbit, on the other hand, won't take damage. They're Except the Yoshi's and Nabbit. Looking for a more easygoing experience. Okay, so they're for easy modes. If they fall down a pit, so watch your step. A 
Additionally, the Yoshis can flutter jump, eat objects, and spit them back at enemies. Speaking of enemies, here are some of the new ones you'll find. Hoppy cats will copy the player and jump when you jump. Melon piranha plants. I love the little lady look out from you underneath their spike flaps. Condarks will fly at you and stick their beaks where they don't belong. When conks attack, they'll even plow through goo. Mumsies can be unraveled if you position yourself just right. Mom Maws will eat anything that comes too close to their gaping mouths. There are plenty more new enemies for you to discover as well. That's neat. Goombas. Koopa Troopas. And of course, you can't have the classics too. And other familiar foes are also here. But yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little bit of, yeah, keeping the, the characters the same. I'm being honest with you. I always like the whole dynamic of uh, Luigi playing different. Make the most of your nose. At least Luigi playing different. Swing your trunk to attack enemies. Destroy blocks. And even do <laughs> I just fucking love how Elf and Mario just broke so many people's fucking brains. This is a what the fuck. If you store water in your trunk and spray it out, who knows what might happen? Thank you. That trunk sure is useful, huh? It's not just Mario though. Luigi, the Toads. Uh huh. Daisy and Toadette all have elephant forms as well. I distinctly remember watching a joke or two by someone online, one of the uh, fan arts online, regards to what they knew would be coming when that power up and those characters in the game. Defeat typically impervious foes and knock out baddies on the other side of walls. You can even jump off them. Like platforms. Ooh, I can your own platforms. It's easier to get to those hard to reach places. Just like that. While in drill form, you'll get a pretty nifty drill. Drill form, eh? With spiky or hard headed enemies of breeze. That's a neat day. Use it to drill down. It also allows I definitely appreciate that power, power up. That's a neat little. In a tough spot, dig away. You can even burrow into the ceiling. Okay, that's that's gonna be loads of fun just with that one alone. Whoa, wasn't expecting company. Plus, the classic fire form makes a return. Yep. Classic. Ah, I like the little fire oh, ball surrounding effect. Power up. In a pinch. Always good to always have have that possibility. The situation. <clears throat> and of course, this the drug trip. I mean, wonder flower. A plant that grows in the flower kingdom. It's said they thrive off this world's mysterious power and release it when in bloom. That's the power Bowser was after. Again, I love that. Flower in a course. Yeah. Uh, the final uh, Bowser Castle is literally going to be Bowser Castle. Pipes might start moving. A stampede of enemies can appear. The terrain may tilt. And the addition of that sound effect too. You can end up in a free fall. Bubbles might uh bubble up. Your perspective can change. I'm sorry. What? That one might be the one that got me the most in, in, in this video. Holy shit. <laughs> Top down Mario. Uh. A certain section there is going to be especially happy with that too. Collect a wonder seed and the course will return to normal. Some courses need to be unlocked using the wonder seeds you've collected. You'll also earn a wonder seed as thanks from a poplin when you clear a course. Okay, 
interesting. Hold on, what? As your adventure progresses, you'll badges. In game badges that change up the way you play when equipped. There are a variety of badges, each with its own special ability. Let's go over some of them. Oh, with a parachute cap badge. I'm intrigued by that one. Wall jumping abilities with a wall climb jump. <laughs> Sorry, badges were a big thing in that series at one point. You can also break underwater blocks. Charge up a bounding leap with a crouching high jump badge. Are those? I'm not. I, yeah. and stick to grappling vine. Grappling vine badge. Recover okay, that's really neat. Drops instantly with a safety bounce badge. Easily find important items using the sensor badge. Draw in nearby Mula with a coin magnet badge. Because yeah, of course they're using now, but to show that one off. And yourself with the invisibility badge. You will not stop dashing. Oh, that one sounds like it'd be a pain in the ass. <laughs> like you just imagine easily fall into your death because you couldn't turn where you were. From the convenient to the unconventional. Only one badge can be equipped per course. Equip them from the world map or when starting a course. Or if you don't make it through, grab a different badge and try again. Some badges can be earned by clearing special badge challenge courses. Go for it! While others can be purchased from Poplin shops on the world map. Be sure to exchange flower coins you collect in courses for badges. Yeah, yeah that sounds super fun. And of course, co op, both local and otherwise. They'll play otherwise. I don't often get together with people to play locally. If a player is defeated in local co op, their character will float around the course as a ghost. If another player reaches them before time runs out, they'll jump right back into action. Your group won't lose a life either. And just so you know, if someone is playing as a Yoshi, you can jump on their back and ride them around the course. Okay. And if you're also playing as a Yoshi. Oh my fucking god. Or if you're an elephant. Oh my fucking god. If you connect online, you might That's be so ridiculous. The world map and in courses. These are people from around the world enjoying the game in real time, appearing as live players. Oh my god. Okay, well, that's not what I was hoping for, being able to occasionally play co op online, but then again, it's never been great on that. That still sounds like it'd be neat just to be able to watch other people play in the background. And share in game items. Even though oh, it's sweet. Playing together directly, you'll get to experience a subtle connection with other players online. All right, fair enough. That's, that's neat. Adventure together. You can also place a standee in a course. Standees can revive ghosts, so place them <coughs> in not so easy areas and help your fellow players. You can purchase oh, that's neat. surprises from the Poplin shops to add more to your collection. You never know which standee you'll get. When you come into contact with an online player or their standee, you'll see their username and heart points. These points show how much they've helped other players on their adventure. Reviving ghosts. Gifting items. Reaching the gold pole together, and more, will earn you heart points. That's neat. While playing online, you also have the option of creating a room to get together with friends. In a shared room, you can see which courses your friends are playing, enter courses together, and even race through certain courses. Oh, Start a race by hitting the race block. Ooh. That sounds a little like it's fun little additions. Then make a run for it. Reaching the goal pole is this is the definitely the most interesting, interesting Mario's been. 2 d Mario's been in a long time. Like. I don't mind 2D Mario uh, in general. But like, up with friends for riveting races. I, I tried playing the second Super Mario, new Super Mario game, and it was just, after having played the first, and it just immediately stale. Basically, just a, 
at best level pack at worst just not very fun all right and I, uh, this looks different jump into the unexpected with mario and <sighs> When Super Mario Brothers Wonder launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 20th. Plus, that looks super fun. I... Nintendo Switch OLED Ooh. model Mario Red Edition is also on the way. If you look closely, you'll find Mario and some hidden coins. That reminds me of the GameStop version. OLED model Mario Red Edition. All right, that's ca I kind of like that one. Mostly for the the whole you know, the thing you stick your Switch into, not the Switch itself. super fun I do be liking that and, and it's not a game I'm planning on getting anytime soon so don't expect it uh, whoop. uh I appear to be frozen for a moment here there we go uh <laughs> yeah it's not a game I expect to uh play anytime soon I'm currently actually st uh, streaming my playthrough of Breath of the Wild. Uh, I have got taken care of two of the Divine Beasts and gotten the Master Sword. I've got a fair chunk of the map done in regards to shrines. There's a few here and there that I haven't gotten yet. And a bunch of, uh, and of course, a bunch of core oxkas. Searching for those is going to be one of those, uh, I try to look for them, and I try to do uh, several searches of areas here and there, but outside the first area in the game, it's a lot harder to clean them up, sweep them up. So it's mostly going to be a in-game thing. <laughs> and frankly speaking, the next bit of video game stuff I buy will be the DLC. Uh, but, definitely looks like a fucking... Really fun game. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm up for it. I really like that, and it's definitely fucking super interesting. I can't wait to eventually give it a try. Anyways, uh, every time I am, uh, at least for, you know, this YouTube.